we are no longer unlimited in our uh, in our car buying choices. Now we have to we have to buy cars that are safe and reliable. And what I learned from driving my three beautiful, well-behaved children around in a sedan for the last four days is we have to have three rows. <laughs> absolute, an absolute and total must. Um, so that uh, that made me think of. Uh, Think of the, the one song where I predicted the uh, the death of my sporty little BMW and, and the trading it in for what wound up being a Saab. So uh, anyway, this is uh, this is a song written from the, the perspective of my unborn child. I will rule your world from the treehouse in the back. You'll forget about the things you used to do for fun on Saturdays and take me to the zoo. When I say go, you'll go anywhere I like. Cause you can't imagine living that living means that you can never see me smile again. I will rule your world with a soft little fist, eyes that remind you of your last girlfriend. Remind you of your last girlfriend. You will love me more, even then you love your mom. A little sporty, don't you think that you should trade it for a Volvo or a Saab? Let's talk about your band, the one you like the best. They're terrible examples, can't you listen to? They might be giants next time when you drive. I will rule your world with a soft little fist, eyes that remind you of your last girlfriend. Remind you of your last girlfriend. Remind you of your last girlfriend. I will rule your world with the tiniest kiss. Kind of thing that you promise that your love won't end. Promise that your love won't end. I will rule your world. All right. Um, I don't really have a good election day song. Um, although I do have a song where um, it's it's clearly uh, an imaginary fictional song, but uh, any better from Pro from Pro Jam gets elected to Congress in this song. So I guess that's that's as, as close as as close as I'm going to get to something for Election Day. But um, this is kind of a fun song to write because if you take it extremely literally, literally nothing happens in this song. Um, it's, it's just a whole bunch of what ifs. So if uh, you know, if you ever go to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Songwriting for Dummies, which I do not recommend because dummies should not write songs. Just I don't enjoy listening to songs written by dummies. But if you were to, to do that, you would find a chapter on you know writing about things you know or things that happen, and this is the uh, complete and total opposite. Um, I won't go so far as saying this is the Seinfeld of songs. Um, because that was a pretty darn good show, and I don't think this song is that good. Um, but I should stop negging my own song and just play it for you, don't you guys think? So uh, it's uh, called Waiting for History. It goes like this. If it wasn't for the circumstance in which they met, Carol would be telling all her friends about the pizza boy. She'd be telling everyone about the way he makes her pot. If it wasn't for the speed with which she stuck her car, Carol would have made it home, read a Jackie Collins book, closed her eyes and seen herself in Borneo with Fabio, walking in the sand, smoking contraband. But she won't take his hand, she's waiting for history to come through, waiting for a funny story they can tell their grandkids when they're through. Sipping Zinfandel and sinking in his easy chair. And if it wasn't for the way the wine would make her talk, Carol would have never said those things about the government. How 
she wanted to be famous, how she wanted to be held on her wedding day. Sunny Santa Fe, it's in her DNA. She's waiting for history to come true. Waiting for a funny story they can tell their grandkids when they're through. Waiting for history to come true. Two kids in an Irish center, a house with a garage. Spend her evenings knitting sweaters and writing letters to Eddie Vedder, her congressman and a boy. If it wasn't so embarrassing to kiss him there, Carol would have walked across the room and looked him in the eye, put her hand behind his neck, felt a stubble on her cheek. If it wasn't for the lightning and the thunderstorm, Carol would be walking home, filling out her day reports, plugging all the details in her secret private formula, length of the commutes. It looks good in a suit, something won't confuse. She's waiting for history to come true, waiting for a funny story they can tell their grandkids when they're to come true.